Hey guys, what's up? Tim here. So in this video, I want to show you how you can create your own AI agent business. So here you can see we are right now on the front page of the AI company. You can see this is our AI company. And here we have um, the general manager. We have um, the coding um, stuff. We have uh, the testing team members. And then uh, here is the documentation. Here are the guys that uh, will write the documentation. And here we have the design department and yeah, they will create everything for you. So you can um, here you can see this is um, a graphic interface. You can see this uh, is your character and you can give them um, some kind of tasks. So, for example, create a calculator or create yeah whatever program you can imagine and then um, yeah, the task will submit to uh, the general manager and the general manager, this AI guy here, will um, direct all the tasks to the different departments. So, for example, to the yeah, coding department and then the test department and um, so on and so forth and the design department. And yeah, they will do everything for you. And let me show you um, how this works. So I um, uploaded here already a file and then um, to show you how this works and then I click here on replay. Let me uh, move the speed a little bit up and then we click on replay and then you can see uh, how this works. Here you can see we, we have submitted um, our main task and then you can see right now the um, chief officer will work on this and then they will submit the individual tasks to the individual departments and yeah then the individual departments will work on this figure out how they can um, how they can create your your program and uh, how they can design your program and uh, yeah like you have a real company a real design company with uh, the different structures here and uh, yeah here you can see now they are working so this will um, take a little bit and then um, also you can see here um, how many updates they, uh, they have made to, uh, to your app, uh, to your new program. You can see a number of code files. So they will create Python files. They will create the JavaScript files. Uh, they will create um, every, everything uh, for you. And so... Uh, number of PNG images, they will create images for you, the documentation files, uh, the code lines, uh, and so on. So then um, number of self reflections. <laughs> and also here you can see how much um, it costs. So, so of course, uh, to create this app, you have to uh, connect your ChatGPT um, or your OpenAI um, account to the software. And then um, you can see how much it costs here. For example, this program, um, a word cloud um, costs um, eight cents to create. And then you can see the duration. It takes uh, 203 seconds to create this program. Yeah, and then you can see this goes to the testing department and then the testing department. Um, yeah, find all the errors and then um, it goes back to the coding department and so on. And here you can see this um, whole program, this whole AI company is a GitHub um, repository and you have to clone this. So everything is relatively simple. Um, here you can see, here you can see the full documentation. Um, this program is available in different languages. You can uh, read everything. And I think you can also watch a video about this. Yeah, of course, you know, you watch my video and I will explain to you how this works. And yeah, here you can see everything, uh, the full documentation. Here's the video um, how you install this or how you can use this program. So this is relatively simple. I will show you later how everything works. And then here is the quick start guide, how you install this. So you can, of course, install this on your Windows computer. Uh, you can install it on Mac. You can install it on Linux. And so everything you have to do is described here. So you have to clone the rep repository, the GitHub repository. And then here you can see how you build the environment, uh, how you uh, install all the dependencies. and here 
how you set up your OpenAI API key. So then you only have to um, fill in your OpenAI API key and then um, yeah, submit it um, when you use Macintosh or Linux. Or if you uh, on Windows, then you have to do it this way. And yeah, here you can see how you can run this, run this task on Windows and so on. Uh, yeah, you can you can read everything. So I will put put all the links in the video description, especially of course here to the GitHub repository. Then you can read everything here. And yeah, so this is still working. So now let me show you. Now let me um, cancel this, close the window, and then let me show you how this works. So let me minimize this. So let's go here and let's uh, stop this. And after you cloned the repository from GitHub, um, you can work with the terminal. So for example, um, right now here, I am on my Mac and I opened a new terminal. Let me make this a little bit bigger. My microphone is in the way. So let me make this a little bit bigger. And um, yeah, then after you clone this, you simply start the program with uh, Python, then visualizer and then app.py. Let me start this. And here you can see now our um, AI agent software is started. And you can see we can reach this on our local host. So let me copy the local host address. Let's open Chrome. Let me put in. And here, this is how um, the main window looks. You have uh, two options. You can uh, see the chain, how the program is built. And then um, here you can see again the visualizer where you can see the company, um, yeah, um, the visual interface, the UI interface. And then let's create a simple program here. So let me uh, minimize this again. So now all we have to do is we have to uh, open a new terminal window. So let me go here. Let me open a second terminal window. And here I have to activate the virtual environment again. So and now it's getting a little bit interesting. Now we have to input the prompt. So you can um, read everything in the documentation. Um, in the GitHub documentation, you can read everything how the prompt works. Here you can see uh, Python 3 and then the task and then you can name your project. You can give your project a name. If you want to, uh, like I said, I will put all the links in the video description down below. And I already prepared a prompt. Now, come on, let me put this in here. So here's our prompt. Uh, Python 3 run um, dot py and then the task uh, virtual pet simulator with a graphical interface and animated pet character shown on screen that changes expression based on its status. So <laughs> great. Then let's uh, yeah let's click enter and now our AI agent will work on this. So let me open this again and let's go here. Now you can see. Um, our AI agents or our AI company start working on this specific task on this program. You can see we will already see some code here and then it goes back and forth between the different virtual departments. And yeah, so you can see now they are chatting with, with each other. They are creating the software. They are testing um, all the programs, all the code in the background. Um, yeah, and of course, this, um, yeah, takes a little bit uh, to create the software. You can see here what we got here. Yeah, uh, we can read everything in detail later. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can also expand this and we can see in detail what they are doing here. What kind of department is this? Uh, Seminar conclusion. Okay, don't know what this is. So software test engineer. So now uh, here you can see now they are testing our software. If this uh, software works or if there are any any errors, uh, any issues with the software, they will test everything and then they will give the feedback to the software engineers. So, okay, now our software is ready. Oh, here you can see how the installation works, how you use this. Um, 
okay here's another one um yeah install um, all the requirements then uh, what's this um yeah how to install python how to check the python version how to install uh, the requirements again install pillow what this and yeah, here uh, are all the status. So you can see, oh, here's the complete. So let me see what this is. Oh, okay, here is uh, the um, all the software info. How much did it cost? So it cost, uh, yeah, a little bit over one cent. The version, uh, number of code files created, uh, number of documentation files and so on. So then, great, let's see, let's minimize this. Uh, here again, everything the same. Con congratulations, you have successfully installed and started using the virtual pet simulator. Have fun taking care of your virtual pet and enjoy watching um, its impressions and so on and so forth. And then let's see where our program is. So I open um, the Macintosh hd user my name and then i search for uh where is where is the folder where's the folder there chat dev and um yeah so all your created programs are in the warehouse folder let me open the warehouse folder and here you can see yeah i created a few and um yeah uh, this is the last program or our um pet program then let me click here on main, right click and copy the path name. Oh, first, of course, we have to create a new terminal window. And then let me go to, let me go to the actual folder. And then I will activate the virtual environment. And now we can copy the name or the path to this folder copy path name oh where's it gone there it is and in order to start this um i will type in python 3 and the name and the folder mm -hmm. oh and yeah now it's uh it started you can see it's a python program and i don't even don't know what this is your virtual pet simulator okay <laughs> why is this Thought. So I think we have to um, yeah re refine our prompt a little bit that um, they should create an image of a dog or something like this. So play, uh, okay, expressions uh, neutral. Oh, what the heck is this? Feed now it's happy. Yeah. So but yeah, you get the idea. So let let's create another um, a little bit more more simpler program, but you get the idea. So then, um, yeah, you have to go back to, uh, to, to the console and tell them um, again what they should do. Then they should include an image of a dog or a hamster or whatever. So I think, yeah, the dot is not that exactly what I want to have here, but uh, you can see that this works. And then let me uh, close this. So then let's um, create a new one. So let me uh, put this here. Oh, this uh, yeah, closed. So now I have uh, this prompt. Um, you can see a Tetris clone with a graphical interface. And also now let's give this a name. Uh, let's see here. Oh, we give this a name, GitHub, name project. Copy this. Minimize this again. Then we will call this Tetris game. Oh, great. Yeah, then, um, yeah, let's fire this command and let's see what our tool is doing. You can see task uh, Tetris clone with a graphical interface, task description, an um, application built with Python. Great. Yeah, now we have to wait again a little bit 
And yeah, you can create everything you can imagine. So you have to be, of course, a little bit creative and you have to yeah, test a little bit what you can do with this. And um, it is relatively easy to install. And if you have any questions, so let me know in the comments down below. I will try to answer all your questions or I will try to help you if you have any any problems here. And also you can find here um, advanced skills. You can open the wiki page. Or um, I think here is another documentation. You will find all the documentations. In here you can find uh, ebooks about this. And yeah, I thought really good. Let's see if this program is ready. Or our new application is ready. Yeah, here you can see. Um, so what's this? How to play? Oh, here you can see um, our user manual, Tetris clone user manual, uh, how to play, yeah, so on and so forth. Then let's see here. So this costs us uh, two cents. Uh, okay. What's this? Uh, this is um, the instruction manual again. So install Python, the main functions, uh, rotation, and so on. Then let's minimize this. So let's go back. And you can see now here's a new folder, Tetris game. Let's open this. Then let's copy uh, the path to this uh, main uh, Python application. Copy this, and then we will start this with Python 3. We paste this in here, and here it is. So, okay, maybe, yeah, we should include a menu or something like this. So, but yeah, it uh, definitely works. So, let me now it stopped. Uh, I don't know what happened now. Uh, yeah, but okay, perfect. Let me close this. And yeah, so now you know exactly how this works. Of course, you have to play around a little bit with this. You have to you have to test this. And then when you have some kind of problem with the created program, then you can go back and um, tell this AI company what kind of problems you have, that they should fix it, that they should improve your application and so on. Yeah, but I think this is really cool. And um, yeah, play around with this. You will find the link to the GitHub page in the video description down below. And yeah, play around with this, test this. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, so I think that's it for the video. So if you found the video informative, if you learned something new, let me know. Um, and also, yeah, please uh, press the thumbs up button. And also, yeah, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm a small creator. And for me, every subscription, every thumbs up counts. And yeah, so then thank you very much for your time. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye, guys.